I've had a number of email asking what code inject is. And that's the ability to write, ho write code ahead of time and then inject it into a specific form or gadget. So when your form or your project is exported, the code that you've written goes along with it. It gets injected into the exported uh, project. So I'm going to do an example here on the uh, last form that we made in the last video. I'm going to use the OK button. So I'm going to select the OK button, go to Code Inject, and I'm going to create a file to add to that, uh, that particular gadget. So let's say Create. I'm going to call it OK, because that's for the OK button. A pure vision or a pure basic pops open and allows me to start writing code. So I'm going to uh, write a message box or message requester. So you pressed OK. So let's exit out of here and save it. So now we see that it's going to inject this file into this this particular gadget. If I press this uh, button up here that just creates a test project for us, we'll see the exported code. Scroll down. So there's the OK button. And you notice that what we typed is injected into that right away. So if I compile this, there's our form. If I hit uh, OK, there's the message requester that pops up. So when this is exported, you have a working project already. So let's, uh, let's show you another w another thing we can do here. So uh, we use our OK button again. We'll go to Code Inject. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, a new file. I'm just going to call it uh, Prox, for short for Procedures. Because I'm going to create a procedure and then inject it into this. So, procedure, click OK. And then same thing, we're going to have it do a message requester. You pressed OK again. All right. And then end procedure. All right, so now we have a procedure. So I'm going to close this, save it. Now, just like the last time, if I uh, view the source code for this, it's actually going to put word for word what we typed in. Now, that's not going to work. We don't want that. We actually want this event to happen. So right here, I'll actually say, click OK. We'll actually put the name of the procedure here. So if we export our code, take a look at it, you notice that it's going to call that procedure. If we look at the very beginning of our code, it's included that procedure for us. So if we run it, compile it, press OK, it calls that procedure. So that's quite handy in that uh, you can put a number of uh, procedures in this one file and then simply add them to the various uh, various gadgets. Do one more quick example here, the exit button. I can include this uh, procedure with it. And what I want to do is I want to write a new procedure. Exit. And I want to just end the program when I click the exit button. So we'll save this. And then for the uh, call, we'll say click exit. Now, look at our code. It's included the procedure called proc, or included the file called prox which was our procedures, and it's injected 
particular procedure that we're going to use. So if I click OK, there's our message request, or if I click Exit, it ends the program. So that's uh, those are some cool things you can do with the Code Inject feature.